Okay, so it's good for you to see the actual logic it built. And now we're going to go in and add this very logic inside of the add-on instruction. So uh, first and foremost, again, as you know, we have to get offline. And we're going to make a new add-on instruction. We're going to call this traffic light. And I want to make a small disclaimer here. Is um, <clears throat> this, um, this is not meant to be used for a traffic light in real life, okay? This is for training purposes only, so please note that. Um, we're going to actually build this, and then we're going to go in and do our parameters. Okay, we have our inputs and outputs parameters and our local tags. Now, I want you to, to see um, the input and output parameters, again, to our timers, stuff like our timers and stuff like that, we're going to use as our you know, inputs and outputs and stuff like that. So just note when you're coming in here and doing this, so you're going to build your parameters as you're going to come in and, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by what I'm talking about here. So the local tags again, so think about what you're going to have as an input or output, right? So obviously, you know, the outputs are going to be the lights. So we're going to have light controls um, and we'll have like light, uh, light one. And then this would be green. And then this is this is going to be an output, so you want to change to an output. And of course, it's a bull, right? And then we're going to have the same thing. So I, I'm I'm a big fan of copy paste, just because of the simple fact it saves so much time. So uh, yellow. And again, coming in here doing this and adding these in here. So um, we're building these out. And we're making these so that it's easy uh, to use. Right. These are the, the outputs. These are the outputs that are going to be used throughout the system that are going to flow to control something on the outside. Right. So this is uh, light two and this would be green. Okay. So we'll copy this and we're not going to, we can just go ahead and like make a bunch of them and come in here and edit our data types and stuff like that but I just like to do it as I'm building it it's just it's so fluent that way right I mean you stay on track you, you don't forget about anything you just keep your mind focused on what you're doing and it that's the big the big thing in, in programming I, I can't say that enough how much it saves your time you know staying just attentive to what you're doing right because again testing too is, is part of it and if you're staying attentive when you do your testing everything's good okay so now we have all our lights right we have all the lights that we need now we need input parameters for our actual presets remember so we came in here we did our presets now we're going to come down here and just get an idea right this is this is just an idea right we're not necessarily going to it's not going to be written in stone but this is an idea so i don't want the tag that long at all um we'll call this uh uh, LT1 green uh, timer preset and you want it uh, like legible right so let's just think uh, so you want it so preset timer preset uh, uh, I think it's worth I think it's worth spelling that out, right? Well, you kind of understand. Light, light, one, green, timer preset. Or we can say light one preset. That's it. That looks a lot better. And this is just going to be a dent. It's going to be an input, so that's fine. And then this would be obviously yellow. And if you remember, we didn't have a red. So we're good. We'll just do light two, right? Light two, green, done. All right. So now we're making progress. We're getting somewhere. And I'm sure by now in this training, you you know exactly where I'm headed with this, right? So now we have our presets. We have our inputs. We have our input pr our parameters and our output parameters. Now you can choose to see these, or you can choose not to see these. And I'll show you this. Now, preferably. Um, these are going to be required, 
right? Uh, but uh, you can make them visible. I like to make them visible. These are just the outputs that I'm using, right? And these are definitely going to be required because you definitely need presets, okay? Um, now you can choose these to be required and that's something we can look at in the coming future um, But we need to, to look at that too. So what do we need now? We need our, our resets, right? We need our resets and Our actual one shots Okay, so our reset we're going to come in here and we we'll get our, our ideas for our reset Just to kind of get a rough rough idea, right? And we're going to do a reset. This is going to be a bull And then we're gonna just like could mean that we're not gonna see this. Let's keep it as simple as possible. <clears throat> Let's keep the and that's often what you see is the naming culture will be so simple that it's just it's really really hard to read. Even sometimes you know because they want to keep it where you can build and uh, you know make these things as big as you want to. So uh, or one shots, right? We need our one shots and this would be back in here sorry about that so we're putting this in so we'll spread this out okay so this is the one shot so we'll just say uh this is our, our ons it doesn't matter i mean again they're, they're not going to see this <clears throat> it's just a bowl we're not going to do anything with it um, as far as like transitioning it outside so as far as that goes I mean, you can but I mean there really is no purpose of it so now that we have our inputs and outputs in here right we have everything there uh, what we're gonna do is accept it but uh, we also too want to come in here and put our scan modes uh, we want to have a uh, so let's accept this right now <clears throat> and that way it, it seals the deal for this now we want to come in here and put some logic in here too for the pre-scan. Um, the pre-scan, and this is going to be uh, something we're going to add. So we're going to go to that. We're going to add these in here. We're going to do some moves. And then we're going to use uh, the presets that we put in. <clears throat> so these are going to be our presets. Let's say, for instance, preset right here. Put this here. Preset here. Put it there preset here and all we're doing is zeroing out our presets right so in the in the time of a first scan we would zero out our presets to make it a safe scenario okay so that's what the pre-scan is going to do okay we haven't really talked about a pre-scan but it is exactly what I just said it will again open up and if you go to scan modes, all you have to do is cl click this box. And what it does is it pre-scans the routine after the logic <coughs> routine is is, uh, is pre-scanned, right? It executes after the pre-scan. So it's really a really efficient way to do things. And just note that, like I say, this is uh, something that you can easily use to you know help you benefit to programming. All right, so now we need to add our logic. And the simple part about this adding logic is that we just simply go up here and what we're going to do is we're going to copy everything we have here. So we're going to hit shift and then copy everything we have. Scroll up a bit. Copy everything we have. And then copy down here. Go over here and hit paste. Now, uh, I want you to note something that not everything is going to be happy. And there's a good reason for that, because we changed our tags, right? So we just need to point to the right thing. This is the reset, right? So we're just going to do the reset. This is the, uh, the timer, right? So the timer. Oh, we didn't change. We did. Here's the here's the funny part. This is a good good to see. So we didn't have we have these as dents. We didn't have we don't have our timers in here for here. So we need to add our timers in here, which is just part of it. So we'll keep our timers the same name. So, and this is part of, you know, coming in here, doing things. So this is going to be a timer. 
And this is just something I uh, overlooked, if I could say that, all right? And this is two, and this is gonna be the timer. So it's good, this is why you when, when you're building it, that's why you do what you do, right? This is why you come in here and you do what you do. So now come in here and get this one. This is the yellow, and I don't think we have anything else after this. So this is just as fine, right? So we'll come in here and add this, this is the yellow. Again, it's a timer. So when things happen like this, I mean, that's exactly what, when you're, when you're transitioning logic and you're transitioning stuff like that, that's exactly why you do it. Exactly why you come in here and, and you, you test, you make sure everything's right. So now we have this in here, we're gonna apply. Now that we've applied, it will come in here and know that these tags are valid, it does. Okay, good. So now uh, we still have to change this, right? We don't want to, we could add the tag, but we already have it. So that, why, why do we, we need to do that? We just need to do this, we need to do this, pick the yellow, this is the yellow, uh, this is the red, I believe that was correct. And then we'll change the one shot, which is the one shot, and then the reset change the reset to the reset that was actually added. Okay, so that makes that invalid. Um, then we come down here and change this. <clears throat> okay, so this is a reset. Uh, use the right reset here. So all we're doing is replacing the bits that we actually used, okay? So it's really, really, really simple. And that's the per that's the basically premise of uh, making something you know, like this happen. Is making sure that you go through and you look at it properly, you add things in, you do things right, and uh, you make it work. And that's what we're doing. So just note that uh, this is part of the reason why I did it. I picked a simple example so that you can see how easy this can be for anybody to do. You know. I mean, I could have largely came in here and, and did something really, really, really complex and confused. But the point of this is, is for you to understand the how to set these up two different ways, right? You know, one way being obviously building it on the front end, but you have to know how exactly what you're going to do before you do it. Or if you already see logic that's working properly and um, that's what you want to do, then do it, right? Then use it, right? <clears throat> Okay, so this is the preset for the yellow. So this is the preset for the yellow. And you remember we we talked about adding another feature in here and I'm going to I'm going to actually do that. So I'm going to show you how to if if you don't open up um I'm going to show you another way to make a tag, which is really really a simple way. But okay, so this is the second one. <clears throat> and now we want to go to the yellow and this is the yellow 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 preset. Okay, so we have the presets in here now. Now, remember when I talked about there's a problem. Okay, so we have all the logic in here now. It's assembled, it's happy, everybody's happy. Um, yeah, everybody's happy, it's, it's, it's good. So this is good. Um, actually have this as a double OTE. I need to, I think, yeah, put this, good thing I did that because I put this as a wrong one. And let's do this. This is okay. So this is where two starts, two, two, and two, one, one, and one. So double check all your all your stuff when you're doing things. Come in here. Good, good stuff. Okay. So remember when I talked about we we're going to have a small issue, and that's on the a synch, uh, synchronization, right? So what we want to do is want to come in here and we're going to throw in four bits. Okay. And this is running version 30, so I'm building this on 30, but I'm building it offline. So um, if you're building something online with version 30, just know you will. Uh, there is an issue with editing online. It takes a little bit of time. Um, there's like a little buffer time in there or something that they worked out. But um, <clears throat> And again, that's on version 30. That's why a lot of people are going to 31 and 32, but that's a different looking UI. And I'll show you that as well. But um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and say, um, and we're going to add a branch. So just how smoothly that is when I'm doing that, it's not that smooth 
if you're doing it online. Not all the time. It is like for the first five, ten minutes, but it's not. It's not after that. <clears throat> okay, so now we're we're saying we want if the two yellow lights are on, or if the two green lights are on. Okay, if the two green lights are on, then what we're gonna do in if the two yellow lights are on, we're gonna actually come in and let's change this to one, and I'll explain it. Then <clears throat> we're gonna add a bit. And this bit's going to be called, it's going to be a local. Okay, so you can pick local, input, output right here. It's going to be a local, and then we're going to call this start. Um, actually, let's call it initial start. Okay, so if this is active, if this bit is active, what I want to do is block any of these lights. Okay, I want to block not the not the the timers okay i don't want to block the timers i want to block the light from coming on and i'm not going to block the red light because i don't it's not fair it's it's perfectly fine for both red lights to be on and the reason is is because nobody's going to go anywhere in real life if both red lights are going on are, are on nobody's going to go a single place all right so now that's what we're doing is we're adding this in here as, as far as that goes now you can add um you know, like in you know instructions and or, or uh, comments and stuff like that, just like you would. I would highly recommend doing that because when you're doing that, you're going to give the best information on this. But for the simple fact of us just building it right now, let's just go ahead and assemble this, and let's go ahead and put it in use. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we want to come over here, and we're going to add a new routine. It's going to be traffic. We're gonna call this traffic light uh, AOI. Okay, traffic light AOI. Now, before we download and before we do anything else, right? So we have our pre-scan, we have everything. Before we do anything else, I'm gonna stop this video because we're at the 17 minute mark and I wanna make sure that uh, you, know, you understood if you need to go back and you need to watch how we built this, Right, how we built our, our add on instruction and how we did our, our um, basically our, our definitions and stuff like that, right? How we did all this, then please do so. And I want you to note too do, do not press the generate uh, ID until you are finished, done or you're completely done, right? So don't press that until you're completely done. But we'll continue on in the next video. We'll do a little recap, we'll use the actual. Um, AOI, the, the, the new add-on instruction, we're going to use it, and then we're going to come back and add some other stuff to it as well. So uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.